Hi everybody, this is Susie and welcome to another Wild Dog Crafts video on behalf of the Wild Bunch. Thank you so much for coming by today to check out this new tutorial that I've created just for you. Um, I posted something really cute and something a little bit different, kind of festive for fall this morning on Facebook. And I wanted to share with you how I made that. So um, here goes, I'm going to do this tutorial but I'm just going to um, set my desk up first here so that you guys could see what I'm doing. Okay, and I hope that I'm in camera with everything and so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, as you can see, um, this is a wreath that I made, um, and I'm hoping that that's actually uh, clear enough for you to see. I'm actually going to go over there and uh, zoom up on that. Okay. What I had made this was, was I had recycled some coasters, um, and uh, I'll show you all of that in a second. Um, and I'm going to show you all of the items that I used to make this cute little wreath, which is actually um, a magnet. And this can go on your anywhere in your craft room, on a file cabinet, or anything that's magnetic, even your, in your kitchen as a refrigerator, a cute little gift for someone. So uh, we're going to get started on this now. Okay, I just want to be in picture. And um, what I've used here is, you know, not to advertise or anything, but what I've used is just a simple, like, heavy-weighted chipboard, um, oops, sorry, coaster, which is the base for this. And just for the sake of the video, I had already cut it out. So, as you can see, when it was the original way, it had a circle there. You, if you have coasters, you can just draw a circle and then uh, cut it out by using a, uh, a, a knife, a craft knife. If you don't have uh, a round wreath, you can certainly make one that's square. Um, this one is from um, the uh, Outback Steakhouse, uh, so you can certainly uh, draw it on a square and then cut it out and use that as, as a square wreath if you like. Anything goes, basically. And what you're going to need is, of course, a pair of scissors, any kind of craft knife. This is actually an industrial craft knife. By general, at Home Depot, you can get that. Um, any kind of uh, shears that can cut wire. You're going to need, um, if you have any, uh, any kind of like um, little balls or some kind of like little tiny pumpkins or anything that would be tiny little pieces that are like on that wreath would be great. And uh, what you're also going to need, which I have purchased at Michael's, is a package of the moss. And I really like this one because it has like this really nice burgundy color in there with the greens and some of that wood look in with the moss. I, li I really like that. So I picked that up um, about a, a week or two ago at Michael's craft store. And um, of course, you're going to need some flowers uh, from Wild's Orchid Crafts. Uh, of course, your color, anything goes, but um, I, would, uh, I would say to try, if you're doing like a full project, I would say to stay in the browns, the yellows, the deep yellows, mustards, oranges, that kind of color. Some raffia for the bow. And of course, embellishments, which I've used here with some of the Wild's Orchid Craft buttons and some of the Wild Orchid Craft metal embellishments. Okay. And that's basically it. So we're going to get started. Oh, and sorry, one very important thing. If you have some magnetic wire, uh, like magnetic ribbon rather, sorry, this, this comes just peel and stick and cut what you need, peel and stick. But if you don't have those, you can also use like a magnet from a store or sometimes you get them in the mail, just cut it up and put it on the back. And of course you're going to need your base, which is some kind of, of a circle, even if you make your own out of chipboard or cereal box. No one really sees the back, so we're going to use the front part. And I'm just going to get some, bear with me, I mean I'm not the tutorial professional here at all, so just kind of bear with me a little bit here. Um, this is some of the, the moss that that comes in the package. It's it's all different kinds, so you can um, you can kind of mix it up. And I, I saved um, I saved myself doing all of this, so you can see that it's really it's not too much um, 
trouble really to, to go through the, the process of putting it all together. Once you have it all uh, glued down, you're ready to go with the fun. Um, and I did grab some of the burgundy out of there just to break up the greens. And you can't make a mistake here, guys. So just go with the flow. And of course, most importantly, you're going to need a glue gun. Don't look at it. It's yucky. I know. I just bought a new one. I have to get it rolling. And um, I don't know if you guys ever seen this, but this I had this a few months now, and I love it. I got it on HSN. I think it's like a Kathy Fallon product. Um, product and it's for um, you know so that you don't hurt your fingers and it, I also have the uh, glue mat which I'm not using today okay so what we're going to do I might not talk here for a while and I, I may just you know glue this stuff on so just be a little patient with me and uh, let's get started I just want to make sure that you are in camera where are we Oh, great, so you didn't see me the whole time. I'm so sorry. Okay, there we go. We are in camera now. So just in case if you, you missed it, because I noticed that it wasn't in, um, you are going to, uh, you're going to get your, your coaster, cut out the middle, and you're going to get your moss, and you're going to glue it around the outside, and that's where we basically are, and that's what I have here on, on, the, uh, on the wreath. As you can tell, I'm not... I'm not from the really big um, tutorial people, but you know it's live if I'm doing it. I may stop and talk for a while, like I said. So. I know it, it looks sloppy while you're doing it, and you're like, "Oh, how can that possibly be that?" But it is. It it it, it you'll between filling it in. I, I wanted to cover it with the moss, and you know, if you don't like the moss, you can certainly use your imagination and uh, make something. You know, use something else in its place. But what happened was, was I wanted to make a small wreath for my refrigerator. And when I went to the craft store, I saw a small wreath about this size for $3.99. And I was like, $3.99? Are they nuts? So I, I wasn't going to pay $4 for a thing made of twigs that was this big for, for $4. It wasn't happening. So, okay, let's see. And as you're making this, you'll see you're going to have to, like, maneuver a little bit with it, like, play with it. Um, let me just get another little piece of this moss. And I don't know if I if you saw this before, but this is the bag I got from Michael's Craft Store with all the moss in it. Sorry, I was at a camera. I can't tell because I have the camera like to the left of me, above my head. Okay. So as you can see, this is slowly uh, starting to look like something. Okay, and just what I do is I go just if I rip off a little piece here and there and just play with it. Try not to burn your fingers, and um, if you need to, you can use one of these little things, and they're, they're very helpful in, in all of the projects that I use uh, with hot glue. So you can certainly try that. So you see, I really like the, the this kind of stuff because it gives it it gives it a little character, it gives it some depth. You know, you have um, this look of like, okay, this is kind of a store-bought piece. Okay, so isn't that cute? So now I want to—I don't want to like screw this up throughout the video, you know, by not gluing down a lot of the pieces. But you can see like some sections need some extra glue and all. So um, you know, I guess I could fool around with that uh, when the video is over because I don't want to waste any time. I don't know how long this is going to take to make me. I don't think it's going to take longer than 10 minutes or so. Okay. Let's get that glued down. Then you're going to have to figure when you're looking at this, okay, which part is going to be the top. So I think that um, this part will be the top and we're just going to decorate the side. I happen to like to decorate the sides of these things. So um, what I have here is, is also some of the stuff that came in there, the, the, um, 
the moss and this is like a burgundy color and I really like using this also because um, it definitely breaks up some of the green I like it in combination with the flowers too it just kind of gives it that really nice fresh look and even though I the one one that I have is for myself and the other one that I'm making is for my mommy um, <laughs> she's gonna get a kick out of this she knows me with all these creative thingies that I come up with sometimes okay ow I'm gonna have more stuck to me you can tell this is in real time you guys alright alrighty okay so now um the next, the fun part of this is really the embellishing, just trying to get an idea of where is everything going and which flowers am I using. And in the drop down box right below here, guys, is going to be a list of everything that I used here uh, from wildorchocrafts.com. So I'm just going to cut a couple of flowers off with my um, wire cutters. And these look horrible because they're my bind it all wire cutters. I kind of ruined them using them all the time. So what I, what I like to do is, and everyone works in their own way, I totally respect that, um, I, like to, uh, I like to lay mine out first just to get a feel of uh, which flowers lay nicer next to each other as far as the color combinations go. Um, so, yeah. And see, this one is a very pretty flower. I love this mushroom color, but it's a little large. So I'm just going to take off the green leaf and one flower. Keep the flower because you can certainly use that in this project or any other project that, that you may need that color flower for. Okay. So, and just, just don't be afraid. I'm never afraid when I craft. I just go with it because, you know, we're working with pretty embellishments and glues and all kinds of things. And if we make a mistake, it's, it's fixable. Okay. And I'd like to use some burgundy. These are so beautiful. When I get my design team package in the mail and... They already know me at the post office. I'm in like heaven when it comes. Because I just love Wild Orchid Crafts. I want to say hi to my flower sisters out there. <laughs> I sound like a DJ now. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, so here we have some kind of an idea of, of how this is uh, going to gonna look together. Okay. Um, so... All right, so now I have the layout of the flowers. And, of course, over here on, on this one, um, you can see that I use the metal embellishments of the butterfly and the firefly. So I'm also going to be using that in, in, this, uh, in this one as well. And mind you, several of these come in a package when you purchase them, so they really do go a long way. Here I have some raffia. This is a nice big chunk piece that uh, comes from Wild Over Crest when you buy it. Okay, and I'm roughly going to cut off about, oh, I don't know, 12 to 14 inches maybe, 13 inches. Okay, and I'm going to, I want to show you how to make that bow that I made. Nothing really special, I was just sitting here uh, playing with it, as if you're going to tie a bow this way and then that way again. This way, and then this way again. And then just let go of that piece, but... Um, what you, what I've done with the previous one is just get one of those little loose wires that you cut a flower off and just use that as like some kind of reinforcement, like wrap it once around and then get your um, wire cutters and just trim off the rest of it. And um, there you have like this really very nice looking natural type of bow. And uh, what I had done there was, um, see this is kind of long, the tails that are hanging down. And they're almost even, so I'm just going to use these uh, Tim Holtz shears here. And just cut a tiny piece off. I hope you can see me. Rather, see me in camera here. Um, and this is kind of wide. I don't know if any of you ever played with raffia. But it's definitely a fun material um, to play with. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of that and I'm just going to wrap it right around the center where I put the wire. Get a teensy drop of the hot glue. Put it down there. And it was such a tiny drop I didn't even burn myself. Okay. Now, that's going to be the uh, the ribbon that goes in the center there. So, um, okay, let's let's get started with gluing these down. Okay, um, this is going to be pretty, pretty quick. So, um, I'm going to start with, with the left side. Okay, and I'm just gluing down the larger flower, which is at the top, using the hot glue. I kind of like using these coffee-colored flowers and in combination with the burgundy because there's some of the burgundy um, moss that's there. And then, uh, of course, sticking in one of these mushroom taupey colored uh, flowers. And, and all of these are from Wild Orchid Crafts. Just kind of like laying them on the side, but kind of uh, packed closer together. And um, just leaving a small space because I don't want to hide uh, everything here. So I'm leaving a small space again with another brown flower right over the, the burgundy. And this this one is uh, some of these flowers I just had, and I, I had these uh, full colors in my uh, box of Wild Orchid Craft stash. And um, I wanted to use these. I, I really like the I really like the um, the burgundies and the golds and the browns for fall more so. I mean, everyone has their own taste more so than the oranges. Even though I like the oranges, also that to me is getting a little closer to the Halloween theme. So I will take off one of these flowers to let it be a little bit smaller. Um, I don't want that to be too close to the other one, so I'll just move this one up closer to the top and just stick that in like on an angle almost. So you can see how that's already coming to something. I just want to put a piece of so dab of glue over there. Hold that down for a minute. Okay. Sorry for the mess. And so far that that is what I have. Okay. And and the bow that we just made together, I'm just going to stick that right in the center. Put a little bit of glue on the back. And if you're scared to hold it down and you want it to stick, just hold it down with a pair of tweezers or a pencil or whatever you have handy. There. Okay. And um, what I had done in th this one over here was I used a button. So I'm, I'm going to use, uh, let's see, what, okay, this uh, like a cream color button from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'm gonna, just going to stick one of those in the center of the ribbon because... I can see a little bit of the wire there, plus it looks kind of cute, glued in there. Um, and now I'm going to get the uh, metal embellishment, and I'm just going to glue that on to the side over here, kind of look like it's flying by in a way. Just put some glue on the back. I don't know about any other glue but hot glue to work for this, except for sticking down the the raffia to the cardboard, you could probably use like Aileen's tacky glue, but every I would really go with the hot glue. So if you don't have a hot glue gun, you should try and go and get one. And um, oh, you see these little ballies here? Well, Michaels usually has these for like around 79 cents or a dollar. I really like to play with these. I have so many of these that I put into my Christmas tree Christmas time, and I also have so many of them in my craft box because. When it comes time to use the reds and the golds and the silvers, I use these balls. I love them. Um, you can buy um, you can buy something similar to this. They're a little bit smaller at Wild Orchid Craft. And if you're interested, I can definitely get you uh, the item number. And you see, I'm just going to, uh, let's see, where can I put this one? Okay, I'll put this one over here. And just put a little glue down. And they stick. They're really, really lightweight. I don't know if they're plastic of some kind, maybe painted, but they're really cute. And they make a little statement, and I like using these in some of my projects. And I just, I didn't have anything else really, and I wanted something to kind of make it pop a little bit. So, um, there we go. I'm just going to 
I don't want to burn my fingers. I'm just going to put another one of these 